So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about simplifying radicals by reducing the order of radicals. How to simplifying radicals by reducing the order of radical? Reducing the order of radical means to reduce the index to the lowest possible index. In the given example, 6 root of x to the 8th power, first we need to copy the radical that is x, the exponent of the radical that is 8, over the denominator that is the index 6. Afterwards, let us get the lowest term of 8 over 6. We need to divide it by 2. So, copy the radicand x and then 8 divided by 2, that is 4. 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. So, ipapasok ulit natin siya into the radicals because the given radicand is the lowest possible index. So, that becomes x that is the radicands and then the exponent of x that is equal to 4 and our index that is the denominator that becomes 3 so that is the cube root of x to the fourth power so let us apply in example number one 8 root of x to the 12th power it means we need to copy the base of the radicand that is equal to x and then the exponent of the radicand is 12 over the index 8. So we need to get the lowest term of 12 over 8. We need to divide it. So that becomes x to the 3 over 2. How to get 3 over 2? So it means 12 divided by 4, that is equal to 3. 8 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 2. Afterwards, uh, 3 over 2, that becomes x 2 over 2. So it means the index or the denominator is equal to 2. So, ilang bang mabubuo natin? 2. 2, 4. Hindi pwede. So, hanggang 2 lang. So, 2. Sobra isa. And we have the same denominator that is 2. So, 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. So, x to the 1 or that is equal to x. And then, x to the 1 half, ibabalik ulit natin siya into radicals. That becomes the square root of x. x, the exponent is 1. And then the index is 2, that is the square root of x. So the final answer is x square root of x. How about number 2? 6 root of a to the 10 power, b to the 12 power. First, we need to copy the base of the radicand that is equal to a, and then 10 over 6. While the base b of the radicand, so b raised to 12 over 6. Afterwards, let us get the lowest term. So 10 over 6, the lowest term, that is equal to 5 over 3 because 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. Afterwards, let us get the lowest term of 12 over 6 that becomes, or exactly, 12 divided by 6, that is equal to 2. So b and then square. So, afterwards, ilang 3 kaya yung mabubuo natin dito? So, 3. Hanggang 3 lang. So, a raised to the 3 over 3 and then sobra dalawa. If we add 3 plus 2, that is equal to 5. And then copy the denominator 3 and then b squared, let us copy. 3 divided by 3, that is equal to 1. So, a to the 1 or a. And then b squared, that is whole number, b squared. Well, a to the 2 third, let us transfer into radicals that becomes cube root of a squared. The radicand is a and then the exponent is square, a squared, and then the index is 3. So the final answer is a b squared cube root of a squared. So fourth root of 9. So, what do we do with the radical? So, fourth root of, so the base, it should be 3. So, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. So, if that is 3 times 3, that is equal to 9, we can reduce now the index. So, the base 3, let us copy, and then the exponent 2 over 4. So, 2 over 4, the lowest term, that is equal to 1 over 2, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 
2. So, kung ilalagay natin siya inside the radical sign, that becomes the square root of 3. Because 3, the exponent of 3 is 1, 3 to the 1, or 3 only, and then the index is 2. So, the final answer is the square root of 3. How about number 4? 4. 4th root of 4. So, it means our base is 4. So, let us reduce our base of the radicand. That is equal to 2. Because 2 times 2, the answer is 4. So, 4th root of 2 and then square. So, right now, we can simplify now the index. So, the base 2, let us copy. And then, our exponent is 2. And then, index, that is the denominator 4. Afterwards, let us get the lowest term of 2 over 4, that is equal to 1 over 2. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 2. So 2 to the 1 half, if we write into the radical sign, that becomes the square root of 2. Our exponent, 2 to the 1, and then our index is 2. So that is the square root of 2. How about 4th root of 49? So first, we need to simplify 49. So that becomes 7 times 7. So it means that is 4th root of 7 square. Because 7 square, that is equal to 49. Afterwards, let us copy the radicand. And then the exponent of the radicand is 2 over the index that is equal to 4. 2 over 4 in the lowest term, that is equal to 1 half. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. So, ibalik natin ulit siya in a radical sign that is equal to the square root of 7 because 7 to the 1 over 2 as the index. So, square root of 7. In number 6, 6 root of 27. So, it means what could be the base of 27? That is 3 times 3, 9 times 3, that is equal to 27. So it means that is equal to 6 root of 3 cube. So 3 cube, that is equal to 27. Next, let us copy the radicand, and the exponent of the radicand is 3 over the index 6. Let us get the lowest term, that is 3 over 6. So 3 over 6 in the lowest term, that is equal to 3 to the 1 half, because 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. 3 to the 1 half, that is equal to, in a radicals, that is the square root of 3. Because 3 to the 1 as the exponent over 2 as the index. So, square root of 3. How to simplify the following radicals if the given is double radical? So, that is the square root and the cube root. Square root of cube root of 64. So it means we need to multiply the index. So 2 times 3, that is equal to 6 root, and then the radical 64. And the 6 root of 64 is exact, that is equal to 2. If we multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 6 times to be multiplied 2, that is equal to 64. So 6 root of 64, that is equal to How about number 8? Eight? 8 root of 16, m to the 4th, n to the 4th. First, we, let us copy 8 root. And then 16, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So that is 2 to the 4th power. Copy m to the 4th. Copy n to the 4th. As you can see, 2mn, the exponent is 4. So let us combine. So that becomes 8 root of the quantity 2mn raised to the 4th power. So right now, we have the radicand that is equal to 2mn, the exponent is 4, over the index that is equal to 8. 4 over 8 in the lowest term, that is equal to 1 half, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4, that is equal to 2. If we put inside the radical sign, that becomes the square root of 2mn. 2mn, the exponent is 1, over the index that is equal to 2. So the final answer is square root of 2mn. How about problem number 9? It is also the same solution with problem number 8. 8 root of 81, x to the 4th, y to the 4th. So that becomes 8 root of 81, that is the base is 3. 
3 times 3 is 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. So it means that becomes 3 to the 4th power. Copy x to the 4th, copy y to the 4th. Afterwards, as you can see, the exponent of 3, x, and y, that is equal to 4. So let us combine, that is the 8th root of 3, x, y, raised to the 4th power. So copy the base, that is equal to 3, x, y, the exponent of the radicand, that is 4, and then the index is equal to 8. Let us get the lowest term, copy, that becomes 3, x, y, 4 over 8 in the lowest term, that is 1 half. Because 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4, that is equal to 2. So it means that becomes the square root of 3xy. So the exponent of 3x and y is 1. And then the index is 2. How about number 10? 4th root of 162, m to the 6th, n to the 4th power. So what could be the base of 162? So the base of 162 is equal to 3. So 3 times 3, 9, times 3, 27, times 3, 81. So it means 4th root of 3 to the 4th power. We cannot multiply it again by 3 because 81 times 3, that is not equal to 162. So 81 times 2 only. How about m to the 6? m to the 6, if we divide 6 divided by 4, cannot be. That is not exact. So, so sobra. So, that becomes m to the 4th times m squared. If we add 4 plus 2, that is equal to 6. While here, 4 divided by 4 is exact. So, let us copy m to the 4th. So, right now, let us simplify. So, that becomes 3 to the 4th over 4, 2 the exponent is 1, 2 times 1 over 4. The exponent is 4, so m to the 4th over 4. While here, m squared, m squared, so m 2 to the 4th. While here, n to the 4th over 4. So right now, let us simplify. 4 over 4, that is equal to 1, so that becomes 3. And then copy 2 to the 1 fourth. 4 over 4, that is equal to 1, so m. 2 over 4, that let us copy m to the 2 over 4, and then 4 over 4, that is equal to 1. So, lahat ng exponent is whole number pag sama-samahin natin. So, that is equal to 3, m, and then n. While 2 to the 1 over 4, and then m raised to 2 over 4, the index or the ex, uh, denominator, that is equal to 4. So, that could be our index. So, that becomes 4th root of 2 to the 1. So, 4th root of 2 to the 1 or 2 only. While here, 4th root of m square. So, the final answer is 3mn, 4th root of 2m square. Let us apply what you have learned in instruction. Simplify the following by reducing the order of radicals. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!